Serendipity Weird, and welcome to my very first video. I am currently sitting in one of the most magical places that I've ever been in, where I've had some quite extreme experiences, and I haven't had an opportunity to be here in a long time. This is the Arboretum in Jacksonville, Florida, and there is a space on one of the trails that has this lovely rivery bit. Not the best cinematography, but we'll get better over time. So I'm here to introduce you to my channel and to me. And this has been a project that's been in the making for about, since webcams and the ability to broadcast yourself over the internet has been a thing, but specifically for the past two, two and a half years, as I've made it to find my witchy path and kind of really step into taking spirituality and sacredness extraordinarily seriously in my life. Um, I don't have a lot of formal training as a witch or a practitioner. I haven't worked tons of spells or magic and that's part of what I'm hoping to do with this channel is hope show is help show the progress that one can go through because um, there's always people looking to start their path and to figure out how to move forward and how do you acknowledge that you are a witch or a spiritual practitioner um, and where do you go once you discover and start accepting these things. Um, yeah, so I thought that we should come to the place where many of my beginnings happened before I moved and transitioned my whole life, um, which has been a steadily increasing process. So there, different, uh, different angle, but I'm not holding the camera and shaking it and being all weird, so I can just focus on talking, which no idea what I need to say or what I need to do or how this is going to go. Um, totally nerve wracking, super levels of fear because owning up to your own personal truths in a super public format is unnerving, but very many messages that this is the path I have to take. So here you go. Here's me. Um, so background information. Um, I acknowledged as a child, definitely very magical, very um, in tune with a lot of things as we all are as children, because children haven't built the same walls and barriers that we end up building as we go through our adolescence and transition into adulthood. Um, very in touch with things, very comfortable with the ideas of magic and psychic abilities and whatnot. Um, somewhere in high school, um, a friend introduced me to the concept of Wicca, um, the concept of a goddess, and that was very influential, but not something that I stuck with or studied for long. Um, for much of my life, I've really tried to be normal and not be the oddball and not live on the fringes and not um, not be special, which is a really crappy thing to do to yourself. Um, hello butterfly. 
Um, but we grow and we evolve and we wrap back around the paths we're supposed to be on. So that's been one of many journeys is some forgiveness toward not latching on to the witch thing when I was 15, 16 and learning and sticking with that. Um, for reasons which will probably come up eventually, um, that obviously wasn't my path. So that was kind of introduction. I spent some time flirting with the idea of Christianity, thinking that that was something that I needed in my life. Um, I rejected that and really kind of focused on and embraced the concept of atheism and rationality and science and using that, you know, really as a base point for how I viewed the universe, but I could not shake an ultimate feeling of energy having importance and energy existing, some sort of spiritual universal connection existing between all beings, all of nature. Um, I really remember several profound incidences of that at the beach at night. Um, it's really easy to be overpowered by the magic of the universe when you're standing on the edge of the sand and there's just so much uncertainty and stretching out before you. It's dark. You can't grasp the darkness. You don't really know what's out there. The water is overpowering. The tides you have no control over. The sand is firm beneath your feet and you're steady and stable. But if you just gaze out, it's mystery. And I had some times where I realized that I felt a part of something that I had no explanation for. Um, just that there was a piece of me that belonged to everything else in existence. So even while I fought the concept of God and deity and religion, I still embraced spirit in some form. So strange relationships, which I'm sure we'll get into eventually, um, different life paths and whatnot, and at some point I was at a drum circle and a friend, which was not something, I think it was like my first drum circle I've ever attended, and someone I knew who is definitely a friend now and has been incredibly influential on my path but at the time was not um, more of an acquaintance at that time but um, so a bunch of people in the homeschooling community had decided to go to the strum circle and at some point um, I've always been really drawn to dance and I've always enjoyed going out to like nightclubs and you know in previous times like more ravey type things, more goth industrial type things, and dancing, and that was really a very strong outlet for me. And so, um, at this point, you know, at some point I kind of set aside the insecurities and decided, okay, I'm gonna dance to the drumming. And my acquaintance friend was, you know, like, oh my gosh, you really connect with this, like, you should come to this festival. Um, and I was like, oh, well, that definitely sounds like something I'd be interested in. When is it? And she's like, um, it's next week and it's a week long. And I'm like, I have a job and I can't just, uh, take a week off next week. That's not going to work. So kind of forgot about it, honestly. And then, um, a pair of teenagers I know needed a chaperone to go to the same festival that spring. And this was in 2014. So, um, I agreed to accompany them and with my family, with my husband, my child, and we went. And 
I could and probably will at some point detail how that and every festival since then has gone and been a piece of this path, but suffice it to say that I was home. And you hear that a lot from people when they enter spaces that are conducive to their spiritual growth and learning and where they feel welcome, that they feel like they're home. And that was absolutely the overwhelming feeling I had. Um, and as things went, I ended up in positions of helping to facilitate um, three of the four rituals, <laughs> um, which at the time, I, I mean, I guess I must have been putting off the right energy. Um, but, and I just agreed to step into the space that I was being asked to fill. Um, and it was life-changing, like, honestly, completely life-changing. Um, the husband, while he walks a very different path for me, um, also felt that connection there and loved being there. And we decided that that was something that was never going to change for us, that we were always going back. Every March, every October, we knew where we would be. Um, so that was that. Um, and that started really embracing the witchy thing and kind of steadily over time, I, I don't want to tell the whole story now, but, um, traumatic events happened, joyful events happened, many life altering, not being able to stay in the same day-to-day -day drudgery things happened. Um, and that's led to where we are now. Um, our family has expanded. I had always been, um, at least since doing a series of self-exploration, reading books and stuff, stuff in 2009, had understood that, like, I am a non-monogamous person. Um, you may or may not be familiar with the term polyamorous, polyamory. Um, but that that was where I was, more love than I didn't have an urge to keep my romantic relationships locked down to a single person. And, again, something I'm sure at some point will go way more into a thing on the channel, but this is just kind of trying to give you the background here. So, um, at festival in the fall of 2015, um, I met a man who became my partner and we, the husband, the kid and I ended up moving, um, south and that's where we live now. Um, all together in one household and it's really quite amazing. I mean, relationships have struggles, but that's kind of normal, but it's very stable on that front. Um, again, path wise, um, the new partner gave me a, an outlet for the witchy and has a lot of experience in history with magic and witchcraft and spiritual growth and so I had somebody to really bounce stuff off and learn and grow and I started embracing the concept of deity um, which I'd kind of accepted a vague notion of but I really started researching the Norse pantheon, reading myths, reading sagas um, I felt a very, very, very strong and still do connection to the goddess Freya and um, the god Loki, which not everybody's cool with that, but that's okay because it's this is my path, not yours. Um, Odin was there too for reasons. I hadn't spent a lot of time trying to develop a relationship in that regard. And eventually it came to my attention that perhaps I should start learning and developing a relationship with towards however you want to phrase that um with Hecate which kind of surprised me because I wasn't sure 
if I just wanted to be some special snowflake, that will probably come up a lot. Um, but I am in a much different place now where I have to actually start sharing these things and for me to continue to grow and hold my own truth, I have to make videos and share my growth and journey to hopefully influence and help somebody else out there. I don't know, I get positive feedback from people, so in general in my day-to-day -day life, um, that I have a positive influence, but I'm also, I have a lot of my own shit to work through. A lot of it. A lot. A lot. So, um, this channel is going to be probably me rambling a lot. Um, I have a couple ideas on topic, like, structure that we're gonna explore. Um, series, if you will. Um, one of them will be Serendipity Weird's films, which is Falling in Love, My Story. Um, and Serendipity's Wit, which is Witch in Training, where we can focus more on me, um, learning the technical, traditional side of witchcraft, not just, um, what comes to me naturally, which is just kind of this intuitive, kind of, uh, I'm in the right place at the right time, um, hence the term serendipity as part of my name. Um, but how to identify and act on my will and actually work magic in that fashion. Um, and I think that might be helpful to other people to share my growth on that. It's also concerning because there's so much, like, especially in various groups of Wiccan thought that secrecy is, like, ultra important and if you share what you're doing, then you open yourself up for people working against you and so on and that. and. Obviously, there's also safety concerns because not everybody on the planet is okay with witches, obviously. Um, lots of historical danger surrounding that. And even in our modern day, in 2018, not everybody is going to accept that. And that's some fear I struggle with, with coming to terms of this being a thing that I need to do because... what will that turn into? What will happen? Am I putting myself in danger? Am I putting loved ones in danger? I don't know. But I will trust my deities to protect me. So, that's all I can do. Um, more brief overview things are that we'll probably share my development in the realms of yoga and hula hooping. Um, I am quite the fan of the hula hoop as a prop. Um, I've learned and been developing my ability as a fire spinner and using the hoop as my tool. So that's definitely something I will want to share. Um, and arts, crafts, something I need to do to make my soul sing, which is generally my goal in life, is do the things that make my soul sing, um, because there's enough negativity and darkness out there, and we're never gonna be fully rid of that. I don't think that it's safe or healthy to strive only for the light, um, because then we have no balance. If we look to the rhythms of the planet, we have night and we have day. We have a duality that exists, and I think that that duality is something to work within, not to struggle fruitlessly against. But the I think we need to aim for shining for being who 
our souls want to be. I have an interesting mixture at this point of philosophies, um, Wiccan thought, also true thought, you know, ultra spiritual fifth dimension, angel ascension, star seed thought. Um, it all kind of, I take all of that in and kind of mix it around and clutter it up and figure out how does this all work for me because ultimately that's all I can share with you is what I'm doing what works for me how I've gotten to the point that I'm at and it feels incredibly egotistical to be so focused on myself but the message that I've received time and time and time and time and time again, no matter how stubborn I am and no matter how much I've tried to fight and just drag my heels and go, but I don't have this and I don't have this and I can't do it because I'm nervous and I'm scared and I'm afraid and it's just, no. Um, I come back to this and I come back to doing this and I come back to the idea of sharing my experience on the amazing platform that we have now with the internets. So, yeah. I hope you enjoy journeying, joining me and taking part in my journey. Um, you can comment down below with any questions or any subject matter that you're interested in. And that would be super helpful because right now I'm trying to develop content and um, it can go in so very very many directions. <laughs> I am always scattered all over the place with a billion interests and not necessarily the time, resources, or energy to indulge them all, but I really, really try. So if there's something you really want to see, please, by all means, leave me a comment and I will attempt to get to it. And I thank you so much for watching. Um, Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending your time on me. I hope that I give you something in return. Blessed be.